very nervous. That's good. <laughs> Hi, come on in. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Carla Sanchez with ADP. Hi, Carla. Very nice to meet you. Nice Dr. to meet Page. you as well. Please have a seat. Do you mind if I have a seat? Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Thanks so much. How's your day going? Going so well. How about yourself? It's going good. My wife was really supposed to be the one to be here today, and unfortunately, she's not able to make it. But I wanted to, it was important for us to meet you. Perfect. So I'm I wanted, glad. I wanted to make sure that we were here to at least talk with you. I. Uh, my time's a little crunched, so because uh, I'm really busy, I got a lot of patients out there to see. But I really do want to hear what you have to say because it's important to us. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Hopefully, we can come up with some good solutions for your business. Yeah, then. I hope so. Of course. So I actually wanted to congratulate you on your new location. I know you just opened one in Peachtree. Yes, we did. So that's Thank really you very exciting. Thank you. Yes. How's that going so far? So far, it's going great. As far as the you know the urgent care center itself, it goes smoothly. We're getting good reviews from. Our patients and you know the doctors we have are uh, terrific so we're real happy about it and I see in the future possibly a third location but I don't want to get ahead of myself oh, because but that's exciting uh, yeah I, really I, exciting <laughs> uh, yeah we're real happy about it yeah you know? I mean I, I think it's good for the community first off and you know uh, I just want to deliver a high quality uh, care center for the people to of course. be here um, I think we're kind of running into some of the growing pains that a lot of companies you deal with probably do, and that's mm -hmm. on the back office, back end office uh, issues. And you know, we want to get some of that, see if we can straighten yeah. some of that out. Well, hopefully, we can solve some of those issues for you. Yeah. I'd actually like to give you my business card before yeah, I forget. Sure. So, Thank if you, you have any questions after this meeting or any concerns, please feel free to contact me. Okay? Oh, I will, Carla. Thank and you. as you may know, actually, Kim, your assistant uh, set up our appointment today. So you had mentioned yes. that your time is limited. Is yes. twenty minutes still okay with you? Um, you know, it's probably going to be more like 10 or 15, but I'll do my best to give you as much time as I can. Okay, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. So in order to make the best value of our time, um, I just created an agenda. I wanted to make sure that we discuss a little bit about your business. I'd like to understand what some of your goals are and okay. then show you what we have to offer at ADP and then find and look to see if we have a good fit where we can be able to help your business grow. And then if everything sounds good, then we can go ahead and take further steps. How does that sound? That makes sense to me. Sure. Okay. Great. Do you mind if I take notes throughout the meeting? Please. That's fine. Thanks so much. So you had mentioned that your wife is a person I would be meeting with today, correct? That I was the plan. Okay. Right. So when it comes to making a business decision, an operational decision, would you say that you and your wife are the ones that are involved in the decision making yes. process? Okay. So both of you. And when it comes to considering a new management system, what are some of the criteria that you value or that is important to you? I am, uh, I think some of the things I'm looking for are ways that um, anything that might help us reduce cost. Okay. So that would be, you know, a, a big area of concern. Okay. Uh, the second thing would be to improve the accuracy of the information that we're putting together because making sure people get paid properly is very important. Mm -hmm. um, we know there have been some mistakes in the past, but um, th so that would be, you know, an important part. And probably the third most important thing would just be uh, making us more efficient to okay. help um, reduce the amount of time it's taking for us to um, process all this stuff and make it happen the right way. So those would probably be my most, most important, important thing. things. Okay, so you mentioned cost is something that is important to you. Okay. What are you currently using? What system to manage your payroll are you using right yeah, now? Yeah, I checked with my wife and we have an um, off-the-shelf kind of you know system that small businesses use called Microdynamics or okay. Microsoft Dynamics GP. Uh, so, you know, I my understanding is she's key entering um, the time cards from our staff mm -hmm. into that system and those time cards are generated manually by the staff themselves so there's a lot of trust that's involved there and I don't think they you know do anything wrong necessarily although we wonder sometimes about their days off that they earn but of that, course. that aside uh, you know we that's kind of the process manual time cards we consolidate them she key enters them and 
then she does whatever else she does. Whatever she till it gets recorded. Create the checks. Right. Get, okay. Yeah. And about how long does that whole process take for her, for one payroll process? Um, you know, what I've talked with her about, it sounds like it's around 15 hours uh, a, a week, week. for wow. her to do that. Is, 15 hours. Is if I understood right. So let me actually calculate that for you so you can mm -hmm. see right here. Okay. So if I can get that open. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's, you said, 15 hours a week right. times 52. That's 780 hours a year that okay. she's spending on payroll. Yeah, I know it's a lot. Whew, that is a lot. So yeah. what do you think she could be doing with that additional time? Well, you know, she, we have kids, so she would probably like to do that, but she's also, you know, um, I'd really like, from my point of view, I would just like to make sure she has the freedom to do what she wants with that time. Okay. You know, she's pretty entrepreneurial. She's very involved with the business. Uh, so she might be helping us do things like go look for another location. Uh, I see. Uh, doing marketing, doing other things that mm -hmm. might really help drive more uh, business. Okay. So. And she currently doesn't have time to do that because of the payroll. That's correct. Okay. I see. And with the system that you currently have, if you could rate that on a scale of 1 to 10 from your satisfaction, what would you rate that at? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not the one that uses it all the time, but based on what she what says and what she's commented about, I think that the re I think the, a lot of times she winds up duplicating the information and putting it in a spreadsheet. Okay. So I would have to say, probably wouldn't rate it very high, maybe, I, I'm going to call it a six. Uh, a six, okay. So uh, rough amount right there. Yeah. So what would it take to bring that up to a 10? Would it be the three things that you had mentioned before, making sure it's more efficient, accurate, and then cost-wise as well? Yes, I think those would get us much closer to that 10. Okay, perfect. And when it comes to um, following compliance laws in terms of your business, mm -hmm. how do you keep up to date with all of that? Um, I know she uses some basic information off of um, an HR website that a lot of small businesses use. Uh -huh. I can't really remember the name of it. Okay. And then we do have a law firm that handles some things for us if they're more complex, but we don't use them too often. Most of it, we research ourselves. We're you know, reasonably educated, so we try to figure that stuff out without spending a whole bunch of money on accountants. So, okay, okay. And, and I guess that would really be a concern, too, is that we don't really, um, we, we're looking for an alternative to an accountant because at this point in time, we'd like to spend that money that we would spend on an accountant. We'd prefer to spend it somewhere else. Of course. So you're looking to hire on an accountant because of the workload your wife currently has? Well, we or want to avoid it. Yes. Avoid, okay. But... <clears throat> the direction it's headed, that would probably mm. be a logical step. And how much do you think that will cause financially? What, how much impact hiring on an accountant? I think it would keep us from being able to open another location for Oof. much longer. So you definitely want to avoid that as much as possible. I do, actually. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And in terms of filing taxes, have you um, had any issues with that in the past? Uh, about any? four years ago, there okay. was an, a, it was minor, but it took time to get it corrected and mm -hmm. resolve. I mean, there weren't any huge fines or anything like that, but it was an honest mistake. Nonetheless, we really don't want to deal with that. Of course. And so human error, something yeah. that you really can't control and out right your hands. So it's a little bit of a concern in the back of our mind. Mm -hmm. It doesn't keep us awake at night, but okay. we're cautious about it. So it's not something major, you would say. It's something that... Um, wouldn't be your major priority. It would be major if we had another problem. <laughs> Good. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen in the future. Yeah, exactly. So what I understand so far is that some of your major concerns include costs, so making sure that it's your ROI is positive, so making sure that it's not too expensive for you. Another thing is increasing your accuracy. So right now you're having issues with people getting paid properly, maybe paid vaca uh, vacation time, you would say, issues yeah, with that. Yeah, it's kind of like they earn days uh, off. Okay. And you know, that can be a, a challenge because sometimes they take the days off, I think, before they earn them, and so then we're paying for them. Mm, and then and you that, can't get that, that could back. Be, that could be, that's right. We, that could be kind of a hidden cost. And I don't think we do that a lot, but why should we do it at all? Of course. I just want to get them paid what they're due. Yes, and what they actually deserve based yeah. on how much they work. Exactly. Yeah, makes complete sense. And then the last thing is efficiency. You also mentioned that. Would you say that there's anything else that I'm missing that's... A major concern for you? I think those are the biggest ones. Those are the biggest ones? Okay. 
And if I could find, a, if ADP could offer you a way to be able to increase your efficiency, um, reduce your costs, and make sure your accuracy is also improved, is this something you'd be interested in doing? Absolutely. Okay, great. So before I get into my presentation, I'd like to ask you a little bit about if you're familiar with our product, and if you are, if you mind. I mean, you're, you know, ADP is a very well respected organization and mm -hmm. highly thought of, and that's one of the reasons that we contacted you guys first. Perfect. So yeah, I mean, but I don't well, we really, appreciate that. I don't really know everything that you do. But, Definitely. You know. Well, I'll give you a little bit of background information just so you get a better feel of who we are. So we've actually been in business for 65 years now. Okay. And if you had That's mentioned, yeah, pretty long time. So we've been really established in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also top leading right now in the payroll industry. Okay. So I'm sure that's what most people are, know us for, but that's not the only thing that we do. We also do a lot of HR tax um, tasks. We handle taxes and then compliance laws, mm -hmm. which you had mentioned that you do through another system that you have. Right. Right. Um, and then what I'd like to show you based on everything that we discussed, there's a product called Ron that we offer and I think it would be perfectly fit for what you're looking for. Okay. So if you don't mind, I'll show you, it's an actual app okay. and it's something that runs mobily. Right. So you can basically do business anywhere. So let's say you mentioned family is very important to you. Mm -hmm. And for your wife, which is a person that'd be pretty much doing all these processes. So let's say your child is at a soccer game or if they play sports or dancing or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. She has the option of doing payroll while watching the game because she can do it anywhere just with internet access. Okay. So let me actually, do you mind if I go around and show you sure. the app? No, that's fine. Okay. So this is what the app looks like. Right here, run, and I'm actually just gonna show you the demo. This is what the login credentials would look All like. Right. And you had mentioned time is very important. And right now, your wife doesn't have the time to do everything that's required. And with the right. expansion, you might have to hire on somebody else. Right. So I'm gonna show you just how easy this is, and it's gonna take us less than a minute. So just watch. Okay. So if you don't mind helping me here, so sure. just press resume weekly payroll. Okay. All right. So right there, this one is weekly. I don't mm -hmm. think I asked you, how often do you guys do payroll? Uh, it's bi-weekly. Bi-weekly, okay. Mm -hmm. So this one's set weekly, but if when we sign you up, mm -hmm. it'll be bi-weekly. So okay. we'll tailor it specific to your needs. So just go ahead and press resume. Right. Okay, and this shows all of your employees right here on that list. Okay. So you had mentioned that Acura is something really important. Yes. And the great thing about this is each of your employees have login credentials. So all the clock in, clock out times will be registered through our system. So there won't be any errors of someone missing a number when you're doing it by hand. So, so no more time cards. No more time cards. How does that sound? No, uh, that sounds fantastic. Do you think that would really help your wife? I think it would help Make a things lot. more efficient? Yeah. And taxes. So if we click on an employee, let's see, it divides everything by their hourly rate or if it's salary and it puts in how much they're making an hour. And if you scroll down, you can see vacation hours, which you mentioned you had, you were paying people ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Or if let's say someone quit in the future yeah. and they had vacation time, you guys aren't getting that money back. Right. So this is gonna prevent from that problem happening. So okay. let's say an employee gives you two week notice. Now mm -hmm. you know that from the last paycheck, you deduct the uh, vacation hours. Mm. So you won't worry about having that money to spend. Okay, okay. Do you think that would be yeah, beneficial? I think that'd be very beneficial. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Great, so go ahead and press preview All right. to the next step. So calculate, all right. And this right here shows you how much money re is required for that payroll period gotcha. per location. That's great. Yeah, like so that. everything is, you can see gross amount, you can see all the taxes, and this okay. also stays on that cloud. So you'll be able to keep track of it years, years in advance. Let's say you need to access information from five years back. So all the tax deductions and everything flow through ADP? Through ADP, correct. So then you guys submit that on we, our behalf? We don't submit it on your behalf, but mm -hmm. we do have all the information laid out to make everything super easy for you and okay. swift, so you won't have to worry about doing anything manual or okay. transferring all of that and then increasing your human error. And then if I <coughs> excuse me, needed to look at any type of trending reports or things of that nature, okay. does that provide? Let's finish this report and then I can show you, okay? Uh, so okay. click Approve. Okay. Approve Payroll. Okay. And that was it. How simple was that? Jeez. Doesn't that really, seem super easy? That's awesome. Yeah, and yeah. you were telling me your wife is spending about 15 hours a week. Right. So imagine taking all of that, 780 right. hours, yeah. and sh it's just done automatically. She won't yeah. have to worry about doing anything else by hand. Yeah. I think Wouldn't that, that be incredible? Sense, yeah. And you mentioned reports. Mm -hmm. That's also on here. So if you go on reports, payroll summary, mm -hmm. and you run report, and it'll give you all the information by employee all the information you might want to know, and then also, let me go back to payroll liabilities, run report, and you can see 
different types. So total taxes. Okay. And this is the information that you would use yeah, to I, calculate your taxes. I see. Okay. Yeah. So how does that sound to you so mm -hmm. far? Well, to me, it sounds great. Sounds great. great. Um, I need to make sure that my wife has the chance to see that. Of and, course. And, you know, um, I think if she sees, you know, if there's not something I'm missing that she does, mm -hmm. um, you know, that seems to make a lot of sense. So Perfect. How much does all that cost? Yeah, your investment. That's yeah. very important. Right, right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about your investment. So you had mentioned that you had, let me grab the paper. Oh, I don't, you have... 15 employees from my research. 15 employees There's in Peachtree. At, at the Peachtree location. Okay. And then um, 20 at the other. Is that correct? 15 and 20, yeah. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So the way that we file this is every payroll process that you do, that's how you get charged. Okay. So because you have two locations, this is separate. And the reason why we charge separately is just to make sure all the figures and all the reports are aligned for when you're going to file taxes to make your life much easier. So you okay. don't have to worry about dividing everything and consolidating all that information. It'll be very laid out in a simple way for you to be able to do that in the future. Okay. So you would fall under this bracket, 5895 every payroll period. Okay. And since you have two locations, it would be $117 a month. Okay. And then per year, it would be about $6,130 for the whole year. Okay. Including everything. Okay. And the great thing about this okay. is it, there is $150 implementation cost, but the great thing is it includes your training, your service, and your support. So you won't have to worry. We'll be there all along the way, especially me. You have my business card, so if you have any questions or any concerns throughout the whole process, I'm always going to be there. Okay. And then one last thing that a lot of our customers really love is that we have no contract. Oh, so you okay. won't have to worry. If you want to cancel at some like point, okay. you can definitely cancel whenever you want. But the reason why we don't do a contract is because we're confident about our product. We know what we're offering, and we know that you're going to love it, and it's going to help your business grow. Okay. So that's the reason why we don't require a contract. Okay. That yeah. sounds fair enough. Yes. Okay. So do you, do you think setting this up, I mean, you don't have to pay until your first payroll. So we can get you all mm -hmm. set up, mm -hmm. and then you can talk to your wife. Sure. I'm actually going to leave some promotional material here so you can share. I know it's a lot of information to digest. Yeah. So you can show this to her okay. about what we discussed today. So we can get everything rolling next week if you like. And then I can yeah. fill her in into everything and get you up and running in less than a day. Okay. What I'd like to do mm -hmm. is before I make a decision, because okay. this is really her ball of wax right of here. Course. She's got to be the one to decide, and I don't want to take that decision away from her. Definitely. Uh, I understand. I think it'd be a good idea if you met with her. And I apologize that you have to come back, but if you can no, meet with her, maybe she'll all. be back on Monday. On Monday, okay. And if you want to just come back around 11. Monday, on okay. Monday, that'd be Monday fun. at 11. So I'll send you a confirmation calendar invite sure. just to ensure that the times are aligned. And yeah. if she has any questions before our meeting, please feel free to let her know to give me a call. Okay. And then we can get everything running. But thank you so much. It's You're great. welcome. Yeah. It was great meeting you, and Pleasure. I look forward to our relationship in the future. Thanks. Okay? And I'll pass this along to her and, you know, kind of bring her up to speed on what we talked about. Perfect. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for Have coming by one. today. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How did it go? Good. You liked it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so yeah. nervous. You didn't seem that. <laughs> really? No. I wonder how long that was. It doesn't tell me, I think. Oh, I didn't have a time clock, so. <laughs> yeah. But thank you I, so much yeah, for coming out. And <laughs> Very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as yeah. well. Awesome. That's great. Good, good young people.